Good morning and welcome to a new week. I'm gonna get ready with you guys. I'm gonna start with the Hey Honey Be Clear Skin Purifying Bee Drops. Those are so cool. So, a little bit of redness. <laughs> oh, by the way, my hair extensions. I took them out and I'm really liking my natural hair right now. And so I'm gonna leave them out for probably the foreseeable. I say that and then <laughs> I put them back in whenever like a big event or something is coming up because I get insecure about how thin my hair is because my hair is finally blonde and long and that's usually not something I can achieve. I have these cards from when I worked for YSL. Even though the light shades and seem to be where I should be, I kind of like the middle ones more because the light shades look so pink. I'm trying to get away from pink check it out you know what these are those are clean brushes there's nothing better i cleaned all of my brushes last night hit my t-zone with this touche cloth the goal here today is to look effortless effortlessly gorgeous uh with natural skin we're not gonna like pile on the full coverage oh so yeah i have nothing i have nothing taped to me <laughs> or glued. There's nothing glued or taped to me this week and it feels so good. It feels so good to just be able to rub my eyes and type. Scratch my head, you know? But I will say I have some cool stuff coming in the mail today and it is going to be some cool nail art. <laughs> These dogs. I'm going to let them play because I'm if you guys hear that, you're just going to have to listen to that because I love that they are playing. And I would never want them to not play. That's why we got them for each other. To have a brother and sister to play with. Here is the outfit. We're going to head out to the craft store, but I just wanted to show you. I am proudly wearing head-to-toe thrift clothes and... I'm so glad I'm finally getting to wear this awesome camel ruffled top that I got in Sacramento. This pleated black skirt is from a brand called Wild Fable, which I believe is a Target brand, but I got it at Goodwill with the tag still on. And the cowboy boots of dreams, they're so cozy. And then a Louis Vuitton purse that I thrifted off the real real ages ago and a little straw hat. So today's project is to officially redo this little trunk here. I haven't decided yet. I think I just want to spray paint it because I at first considered sanding it and then staining it. I really think I just want to paint it and I'll probably see about taking this off so that I can paint them. But then I was like, well, would it be cool to do like a lining of some sort on the inside so that I can put hats and gloves in it and they're like, you know, have something soft to touch. I feel like a lining might be kind of cool. And it's just going to be a fun, quick upcycle. So let's get going. Okay, we have arrived at the craft store and I'm really excited to just go walk around and just be at the craft store. It's been a while since I've been here and sometimes it's just so nice to peruse the aisles and get inspired by projects in general. And then also I love looking at fabric samples, like like little cutouts and pieces of fabric. <laughs> I'm excited to go in here and it's let's see so what month is it it's June so I'm curious what decor they have out right now because sometimes they start so early it's shocking God, all of the autumn stuff is here why did they even bother pricing things higher <laughs> and this one is actually really funny <laughs> That's hilarious. I actually really like that. I'm not one for signs that say stuff, but that's funny. I'm on this property and it has the most beautiful landscaping. As you can hear, the man working very hard over there on maintaining the lawn as we speak. He's been driving around this entire time. 
I'm just waiting for him to come over to where I am so I can be nice and embarrassed for being out here by myself with my tripod taking photos next to this beautiful tree. But I thought I would take just a little opportunity to step outside, get some sun. I've been cooped up in, on my computer for days. This tree in this lovely little area is where I got a little bit of footage and some photos in my outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and show you what I got for crafts. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to share this with you guys. It's called Hormone Harmony. It's by a brand called Happy Mammoth that I never heard of before. It's a little pricey. It says it helps to relieve menopausal symptoms, which I don't have yet, but I definitely have the mood swings, the bloating, the symptoms of stress, and the PMS, irregular periods, menstruation pain, big time, and cognitive function and mental endurance, which that was the thing that I've noticed lately the most, like ever since basically like getting COVID, I've had really bad brain fog. Fennel extract, maca root, chamomile, broccoli sprout, berberine, whatever that is, chast tree, ashwagandha, wild yam, rosemary, and then like four things that I will not be able to pronounce. So I'll keep you updated about that. But then I was looking at their pamphlet I mean, with the cost of it, I don't know how much of this I can do, but they do have this, it says, get your old self back. And I'm just like, that is so me. Like I need to get my old self back. I don't know who I am anymore, but one's called Bloat Banisher. And I kind of wish I had gotten that one instead, but the Hormone Harmony is probably gonna be all around. Here's what I got, here's what I got, here's what I got. So the first thing is this, this is a, liner it was on the clearance aisle for eleven dollars down from 44 so wow i thought this might make a nice edger for around the inside i've decided to go with the color green i just thought that this army green color would look kind of nice if the hardware was gold and look how cute this little mini spray can so green and gold with this as the interior i think will be really pretty so the hardware will be painted that color and then i got this scrap yardage of fabric it was 250 per yard oh that's really nice oh okay i totally could have gotten away with just one yard i just wasn't sure and it was so affordable i just went ahead and grabbed two and i'm sure i'll find something to do with it it's just this really lovely almost like burlap -y kind of feel but it's softer than burlap i thought that would look really nice inside and then the piece de resistance these so i want to glue these on and this will go on the top of it which will look really nice so i'm going to glue this on first paint it and then i'll do the inside anyway i do have a little bit of work i need to go do for a little while and then i plan on changing because i need to not be wearing this when i start spray painting i haven't even turned the lights on up here it's dark mm -hmm. Oh, hi, thanks. Oh my gosh, I got so much nail stuff. Okay, it's hot up here, we're gonna make this quick. Okay, so I've been seeing these little Instagram reels popping up of people doing nail art with these little rubber stamps. And so I found them. Now we have a, 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 an entire nail kit. I've always thought that this needed to exist and I wondered how people who did nail art did it like were to sell the nails. So they make press on nail kits. You can buy stands, everyone. You can buy stands. It's a little nail stand. You see it? <laughs> that was so creepy. Mm-hmm. And your little nail. And then you adhere the nail to that. And that's to clip the nail shorter if you want. And then the Stand, these things go on the stand so we'll, we'll explore it later I'm just showing you quickly what everything is here's a lot of nails this one's more rough and this one's softer everyone in the comment section said if you have allergies to things this probably will be okay for you because one gal said she's allergic to everything and I'm like hi that's me and the only other warning I saw in the comments about this is that it's really strong and then the final thing you're probably like, what the heck is that? And underneath is a metal pan with shapes. So you could see like this shape, for instance, is like a French tip. And then you take the little plastic stamper and then you put it on that and then you stamp it onto your nail. And they make it look really easy, of course, on the reels as if they've been doing it for years. It's called the Nail Stamping Steel Art Tools. And then this thing, you stamp it into that and then you stamp it onto your nail like that. Here are all of the supplies needed for the project.
job says no runs, no drips, no errors. Errors and drips and runs. It's everything it says that it's not. It's horrible. I tell you what, <laughs> not every project can be breezy, easy, breezy. The green not working out was a happy accident because I love this. And this is not black. This is actually called walnut. So it's this beautiful brown. I love it. I think it's so much better than green. completely dry overnight so that I could show it off and do final touches and reels and photos of the lovely little hope chest trunk treasure chest <laughs> that I've made it really turned out cute I really like the gold touch on the ornament on the top of it I think that was a nice last minute detail that I was on the fence about doing. I almost did it to the front too, then I started to feel like it was gonna get a little bit kitschy. I don't know if that's the word, but a little bit too much. So I left the ones in the front brown. The interior brought me to interiors. <laughs> it brought me to tears. It, it was maddening, um, but I also did start my period today. So I probably was just hormonal and easily upset. So yeah, I was like, I hate this. I burnt myself with the glue gun many times. I actually do have a blister. I'm gonna be sitting on my computer for a little bit and have some work to do, but stay tuned for some nail art coming up. Choreographed. I had planned that. I have been working on that for about three weeks, and um, that was the recital. How'd you like it? <laughs> I have actually had to do recitals. I took jazz and ballet. I can't believe I ever did that. I think it was because I was in a group and I knew the dance, but like I have the worst stage fright. I don't know how I managed that. Anyway, good morning. This dress, by the way, is the same one that I own in orange and navy blue. And it is the quintessential dress for influencers who garden. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> so, I really like this dress and I wanna get it in a few more colors because I don't wear a bra with it. I just step into it. It's just so handy. It's so handy. Look at it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about it. I have a wedding coming up, so I ordered two dresses. One of them hopefully will fit for this wedding. I just wanted options, so I got two. And they were having this huge sale. Uh, and then just real quick on the nail thing. I'm not into it. It's too much, it's too messy. I need to get a nail polish that's specific to doing stamping because I think that's the issue. I spent a whole afternoon trying to figure it out. I got it to stamp, as you can see. A little bit but for the most part it was just too much all right this is the beauty of this dress you can literally garden in it and then pop on some shoes and you're ready to go to the store <laughs> it's so versatile and I don't even have to put on a bra that is a win-win for me so I'm gonna just head out to Trader Joe's I have on my Rebecca McGuff espadrilles I got these off the real real you guys know I love that place I talk about it in every video I really 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 hope my dresses get delivered today so I can share that with you
Ah, uh, anyway, I need to go grab my, I don't know why I'm doing this so much with my hand. I'm gonna go grab my purse and we're gonna head out. I wanna see if they have, usually they have basil and some fresh herbs out front. So I'm hoping they do so I can pop those in my planter just to get some life in there. And also I really want a bomb smelling candle for nighttime because right now the only candle I have doesn't really have a smell to it. I want something that's gonna kick up the good vibes. So I'm gonna look for a new candle, dinner for tonight, and herbs. So um, errands are done. I have candles and goodies and dinner for tonight. And I even found a few things to put in the planter. So that's, check, check, check. Those smell, so this whole, everything in here smells so good. So I just got some white hydrangeas, more eucalyptus, some jumbo mum balls. <laughs> jumbo mum balls. Beautiful, beautiful color. Look at that. Oh gosh, that's just so pretty. So pretty. And then I also got just for a pop of more color, just some yellow green dragon aster and then in here we have oh the most oh, the most delightful smelling basil we have some parsley and more mint because i really do enjoy having mint oh that smells so good it'll all smell so good uh, and then i didn't realize that they have non-alcoholic beers at trader joe's i would think they would so i found this section and i'm going to put these in our beer cooler outside and then a sparkling hop water hoppy refresher thought it would be interesting to try i got the <laughs> gigantic leather and suede i'm just all about a musky candle year round so this smells like a sexy fella. When I make the bed, I like to spritz the room with something that just smells fresh. Been spraying this, the room in linen spray, which is uh, with, with essential oil, so I do like it. And it's fresh apple. It's nice, but it just, apple kind of has a little bit of like a fall smell to it. I also got this, clean kitchen room in linen spray. And this is by DW Home, and we all know that DW Home makes the best stuff. Citrusy. Oh, I like that. I think I want that in the bedroom. I'm gonna put all of this stuff away, and then let's go plant some fresh herbs. That ox blood kind of red deep purple on this table with everything else is just so beautiful. And this really cool mid-century light that we got, um, it looks kind of like an alien abduction light, like someone's gonna lay down on the table and just get like probed. <laughs> But I love it and I love the way it illuminates anything underneath it. So when you put a really cool bouquet together, it just changes everything, doesn't it? That looks so good. I hope that these hydrangeas last through the week because we have guests coming in the middle of the week and I really want them to be like beautiful for them. They're only coming for one night, but you know, you want your house to look your best, even if it's just for one night. So I really hope that they last, fingers crossed. So yeah, it looks great. Look how, like, just look how beautiful that looks against the black wall. Ah, it's giving. It's giving! Kansas City, Kansas City, They got some cases running in, I'm gonna give me one. My dad has been sending me music that he's been he found a way to like record it and now he's got a mic and he plays guitar and he's been sending them to me in emails and i told him that i want to start putting them in my vlogs so here is my dad singing kansas city while i do some light gardening and i might just cry <laughs> that is just i told him that like is my favorite thing like please send me music because i love it i'll be 
stand on a corner, 12th Street and by. I'm gonna be stand on a corner, 12th Street and by. With my Kansas City baby, my bottle of Kansas City wine. Well, I might take a train, I might take a plane, but if I have to walk, I'm gonna just get there the same. I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. They got some crazy little women there, and I'm gonna get me one. Now if I stay with that woman, you know she gonna drive me insane. Gotta find a brand new baby that, uh, yeah, the reason why. I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. I was about to close this video. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to show them my freaking dresses and I'm so excited they came just in time. So let me try them on and yay <laughs> okay so they started doing like the real real tags i wonder if this was in the boutique and that's why because they do have a couple of physical stores uh, as well ace and jig is the name of the brand but i just loved all the colors on this dress it's gray with neon orange and green this will be definitely a layerable piece for uh, autumn winter. This feels so nice. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at it, look at it. So it's a really boho kind of like oversized Alice and Olivia. Love Alice and Olivia. Oversized little dress. Really lightweight, that's good. The sleeves are sheer. I love all these bows all over it oh how cute how cute and i could even wear a harness with it but i think this might be the winner for going to a wedding definitely would want to belt it it's got a drop waist so i feel like it would need something oh and a harness a harness would be cute i don't have a bra on so it definitely would have a little bit more shape if i was wearing a bra i think this would be really cute with some sneakers and I'm thinking even my high tops might be kind of cute with that. So like a little harness and then my high top sneakers. That would be adorable. I really like that. Okay, yay, looks good. So the Alice and Olivia dress has a little slip dress detachable that goes underneath it. So I can even use this with other things if I need a slip. It's really, really well made. Oh, that's so nice and it's got the Alice and Olivia logo on it. I thought at first that they had accidentally put something in my bag that <laughs> didn't belong because I was like, uh, what is this on the floor? <laughs> but I guess it is detachable. So let's go try this on. And here's the second dress, almost a very similar shape as the first one. It has that drop waist to here and goes out in as mini. But this one is so retro looking. I feel like it's so like 60, 70 mod. I love it it's so cute i definitely would want to like style it up with some sort of belt or accessory just for the sake of not looking like a little frumpy because sometimes with the drop waist dresses that are like belled out i feel like it makes me look bigger so i definitely want to like cinch it and if i do that i'm gonna have to pull that slip up a little bit higher but overall i really like it i love the pattern it's really cool and my husband just got some green pants so we'll actually match unintentionally we don't have to match to go to things but it's always nice when we do i'm so glad that came because this is the perfect note to end this video on i'm gonna go thanks so much for watching i hope you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not and i'll see you guys on the next video bye